Hey YouTube, you can show me here with a review of the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Meteor Storm from Kamen Rider Forze. So this is Meteor's upgrade form with the Meteor Storm shaft and the Meteor Storm switch and the pinwheel and Beyblade and let it rip and everything like that. Or Kamen Rider Pikachu form, it was called that a couple times too because of the helmet and stuff, it's really funny. And stuff. Pikachu, Pika and stuff. Anyway, we got the box blue with Meteor Storm right here with Saturn, Jupiter, and, um, there it is, Mars, hanging out down there, um, with a storm, I guess, that's what that is. Um, the back, yay, poses, and then, that is it. So, on to the figure. It is very nice, actually. Um, Meteor Storm was always kind of eh to me. I really liked Meteor. I thought the storm... The star chart suit design was incredibly crafty and cool on Toei's part. However, um, I had a couple issues with this uh, guy in particular. Just the blue that they used was just too bright to me, and combined with the, the yellow was just kind of over-the-top obnoxious in terms of color. If they would have went with a more deeper blue, um, kind of like... A darker ver, not because this is more like the blue that they actually used on Meteor's normal suit. They would have went with a more royal dark blue or something like that. I thought I think this design would look absolutely fantastic. But as it stands, I just don't particularly like the brighter blue. But uh, the design itself is still really cool. It amps up Meteor by adding the other shoulder pad and the other uh, kind of like Meteor tail thing that they got going on. So I do love the design. I just don't particularly like the choice of blue. But um. The, the paint on the, the blue used for this figure looks gorgeous. It's got a nice, not really a gloss to it, but a nice sheen. And it looks absolutely incredible. It almost makes the figure look metal, which I think is kind of an interesting choice. But um, it looks really great in person, and I can't, uh, can't stress that enough. I wish you could see the red eyes a little bit better over the yellow, but uh, you can still see them pretty well. You can see the compound effect in there as well. And uh, overall, it's just not particularly that bad at, at all. So, um, props where props are due. Uh, clear yellow plastic on the shoulder pads looks good. You can see the cybernetic detailing underneath, which is a nice touch as always. Uh, obviously, he can still Uchu Kita, but he can't. It's it's kind of difficult between this bulky shoulder pad and the actual shoulder pad. So you can't actually. There you go. It takes a lot of stress to get it. I don't particularly want to break his shoulder or anything like that, so I won't try that too much. Uh, the Meteor Galaxy over here, still being normal, no upgrades. Meteor Driver right here with the Meteor Storm Switch. Uh, it is pretty loose on there, it does wiggle a bit, uh, which bothers me a tiny bit just because I want it to be straight. But uh, it, it is a good effect because it is loose in the suit as well. Uh, in terms of articulation, I already went over the shoulder, you got a double joint there. The typical hand swivel right there. Lots of movement in the body, thanks to the belt being loose. Uh, you don't really get too much of an ab crunch. It My figure might either be stuck or it just isn't really there. There we go. Just a little bit stuck. It's just not as heavy as in other figures. Thigh swivel and the ball and socket joint right there. And then double joint at the knee and the typical... This, is one, this one's plastic, but the typical figure it's ankle joint. So, a uh, pretty typical figure, but it does look really nice. In fact, I like the figure more than I like the suit. The blue is a tiny bit more subdued in figure form than it is in the suit, and the metallic kind of gives it a cool sheen that I can appreciate. So, uh, Very cool. So, on to the accessories. We'll push him back a wee bit and uh, take a look at these. Uh, for food droids, you get Soft Tanya in food mode and roid mode because it's a not really a fan. I guess it's kind of a fan, but it cools things off with the freeze switch. You get the Meteor Galaxy with the Meteor switch inside of it for the um, limit break. Even though I'm not sure if he ever did a normal limit break in Storm, Meteor Storm form with the Meteor Galaxy, but that's fine. Uh, a Meteor or Meteor Storm Switch without the pinwheel in it. 
a Meteor Storm switch with the rip cord inside of it. The rip cord itself and the Meteor Storm shaft. Uh, the, the ball area down here can pop off and be replaced with uh, a longer one. So you've got that. And then these switches can just plug right into uh, into here. And obviously the one in the Meteor Driver right there can pop right out. The pinwheel can be taken out and put into here. Uh, so for all of that. And then you can replace it with the one with the rip cord if he's in preparation mode and preparation H. Sounds like a fun plan. Uh, so you got you got that going on too. So there's lots of different things you can do with the uh, storm shaft. Or you can just leave it open and you can beat people with the ball end of things. For hands, you've got the limit break with the Meteor Galaxy hand. You've got two thumbs up hands. Because that's how he does his face for his... Your fa you know what I mean. His catchphrase. <laughs> Um, the ripcord holding hands. Yes, he's got hands specifically for the ripcord. Uh, kind of relaxed pose hands. Hanging out here. I like the gold, uh, index finger on the right hand, I think, or left hand. I think that's pretty neat. Um, meteor storm shaft holding hands. And then, what's up? Pose hands, because he's not meteor without those. So very cool, uh, let's go ahead and uh, do some poses. So overall Meteor Storm is actually a pretty good release. Um, it's on par I think with the quality that uh, Meteor brought to the table, particularly in terms of his overall design and mold. It uses the same base mold so obviously it's going to be very similar. Um, in terms of whether I appreciate it more than Meteor, not really because I like Meteor's base design more than I like Meteor Storm. Uh, however, if you're a huge fan of Meteor Storm and you're kind of on the fence about which one to pick up, do whichever suit you like better. Um, if the blue used Meteor Storm you like, then definitely get this figure. Um, the, the blue that they used to represent the suit in this figure looks metallic and shiny and awesome. And you know how I am with shiny things. It just looks absolutely great. Uh, plus, the accessories aren't shabby, too. So you do get the impressive Meteor Storm shaft, you get a variety of switches, you get with the wheel, without the wheel, with the cord, without the cord, you get the cord 2, uh, you get the Meteor Galaxy with the limit break, you get Soft Anya because food droids are awesome Mission. and you get a bunch of hands because who doesn't love hands? I know a certain llama that would like hands, but anyway. Uh, very cool release. Love the paint. Love the sculpt. Um, it's just a shame that I'm not too big of a fan of the blue. However, I am a fan of the blue used in the figure. Regardless of what I think about the overall design, this blue is really sexy blue. I can't believe I said that about Meteor. So do I recommend Meteor Storm? Of course. If you're a fan of Meteor, then by all means pick this figure up. Um, near flawless in my opinion in terms of just overall accessories and sculpt and paint and everything. Still not a huge fan of the design, I prefer normal Meteor, but uh, that doesn't hurt this figure any. It's a terrific figure, so if you're a fan of the look and the color and the suit, and or the character, whatever, then by all means pick this up much better than the FMCS version. Um, Particularly because the star charts just really get me. I love that portion of his design and the figure art pulls it off terrifically. I love it. So, um, that is really about it for this guy. So you can check out shugenshinobi.com for all these updates and my reviews and hauls. And of course, check out ridersrangerrambles.com, the podcast, bringing the latest Tokyo news in the craziest way possible. So take care and have a great one. Bye. Meteor butt. <laughs>